so before we begin this process, one piece of advice I have. Don't do this if you've been drinking wine. That could be a problem, okay? Next thing is, be absolutely sure that you want to do this. Because after we go through this, it's not reversible. It will be a tube amp, even if it turns out to be a disaster. To begin your retrofit, you're going to take everything out of this amp, including the circuit board, front panel, power transformers, circuit board, you name it. It's all coming out. And when you do that, be careful. Try to maintain everything as it was. Don't butcher it all to pieces, because you may be able to take these parts and sell them and retrieve a little bit of your investment. So now that you've got your chassis scrapped out, the next step is going to be determining your new layout. Okay? So the Sidekick is kind of a nice amp. You can see you've got a lot of room here, a lot of room here. But here, by the speaker, you don't. So you got to be careful of that, okay? So the transformer, as you can see, it's rather large. So we're going to want him over here. And then the output transformer is probably going to be nuzzled over here. We don't want to choke out the speaker. So uh, let me uh, go to the chassis, and I'll show you how I'm going to lay out the tubes and transformer positions. So here's our chassis. Now this big hole here is where the old power transformer used to sit down in the chassis. And the new transformer is going to sit on top of the chassis. So I'm going to put this plate here to cover that hole and give us a new mount for the power transformer. These two holes here, I've already put in a piece of aluminum. These two holes are for the 12AX7s. And then we're going to have two output tubes and a rectifier tube. Okay. So this is your output transformer. He's probably going to nuzzle back here in this area. Remember, we got to clear the speaker. So I'll measure that out. We'll get things mounted and I'll show you what I came up with. Top side component layout is complete. And as you can see, everything here fit like a glove. It really looks good. The only thing you got to remember is when you mount your power transformer, if you have these little mounting blocks here, make sure that it will clear it so you can get your chassis in, right? The tubes all fell right into place. Also make sure you have clearance for your output transformer between that and the speaker. You don't want them to hit. Other than that, this thing really looks slick. Tube lineup, 12AX7, 6AB6, pair of 6AQ5s, 6CA4 rectifier, and the Jensen speaker. So let me pull this thing out and I'll show you what the chassis looks like out of the amp. Chassis is removed, so you got the power transformer, output transformer, here's your output tubes, and as you can see, she really came together slick. I made sure to pull these tubes away from that transformer so we didn't have heat issues. The only thing you got to remember when you do this guys is measure and remeasure and test fit that chassis over and over to make sure everything's going to clear before you do those final mounting holes. Bottom side of our amp project you see you have a filter cap here installed. Controls are in place. The new eyelet board, tube sockets, all ready to be wired. You can see it's going to be a pretty clean uh, little layout. Remember, this is just a basic Fender Princeton circuit, no reverb, no fancy stuff. Just a super clean little amp. Well, here we are, the build is complete. As you can see, the eyelet board is installed, tubes are all wired up. There's a power supply section, power switch, output jack for your speaker. Controls are installed. I've ordered the front panel, so that will be installed here soon. So let's go top side, I'll show you the tube lineup. This is the D-Lab Optiplex design, so it's not like a little Fender Princeton. Although the lineup looks kind of the same, tubes are 12AX7, 6AV6 inverter, here are 6AQ5s and the rectifier a 6CA4 output transformer power transformer. Let's get her in the cabinet see what it sounds like. So here we are trial run of the little optiplex combo. 
As I said, there's no panel installed yet, but she's playing. So she's nice and bright and responsive. Next, we'll get the panel on, get a light on it so it looks like a real amp, and have my player come over here and show you what she's all about. But so far, I think we got a winner. So as you can see, the uh, new control panel is installed. And this amp has my Optiplex feature. So this will pan from that Marshall sound to a Champ to a Fender Deluxe, like you've seen on my other Optiplex videos. The panel really turned out nice. has this little vintage glass jewel here. Looks super. Backside. You can see this amp looks like it was really meant to be a tube amp. Everything fell right into place. The 12 inch Jensen speaker, the tubes of course, and here is the power switch. So in the center we're off, up or on, and then when you go down, it's what I call sag, which injects a resistance in line with the high voltage, giving you a slower attack to your notes that you're playing. Alright, so there you have it. A super cool way to take a solid state amp that you could care less about and turn it into something usable like a tube amp. This is what D-Lab's all about. I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be a lot more videos to follow of these transformations.